the difference between a foundered foot and a normal foot. So this is a normal foot of a horse. These here are the laminae, which join the pe this is the pedal bone. And here are the laminae that join via the white line to the hoof wall. This is the hoof wall here. And this is where the white line you can see at the base of the foot. This is the sole of the foot. This is the plantar cushion, navicular bone, but second phalanx. This foot is a foot that has foundered. And what you can see here is that the pedal bone is separated from the hoof wall by a, an area filled with just gunk tissue. You can see there's a separation here. The laminae here, which here are healthy and, and adhere, on this foot, they have died and they have lost their ability to adhere the bone to the wall. The bone as a result has rotated and is now coming down towards the sole. And you can see that the, the gas pocket and the dead area extends all the way from the coronary band around the toe, almost underneath the pedal bone. And the pedal bone is about to come down and come out through the sole of the foot. And this is the plantar cushion here. This is the navicular bone on this horse. So, what happens in, in laminitis is these laminae get inflamed, they swell, that's what causes the pain, and then they die because of lack, lack of oxygen and the ability to adhere the bone to the wall goes because of course they're now dead. And the weight of the horse coming down the leg pushes the bone out through the, the sole of the foot. So this is the foundered foot, this is a normal foot.